have ready this is Mateo, and we have to save Rose on. Let's play Final Fantasy IV, and we also have to get into random battles. Vile Shells, they're your basic kind of enemy. They're weak to thunder, and the water bug is also pretty weak to thunder. When it's all alone, or whenever you hit it, one of the two, it'll use a spell called Renew, in which I think it heals all its health or something like that, I'm not really sure. But eventually it will run away from the battle, so you want to kind of hurry up. With killing it, use spells if you need to. At least one should be fine. You'll both hit like 60 damage. And that's how you fight the water bug. Okay, useless stuff. Well, potion is kind of useful if that was a potion. I already forget. I know the second one was a ma Actually, the Maiden's Kiss is pretty useful in this dungeon. There are two enemies that can turn you into toads here. And toad is one of the more annoying status effects. By the way, this is the old man. And then we realize, oh, he's Tella. This is the guy that wouldn't let you pass if you hadn't talked to Rosa. And if you didn't talk to Fat Chocobo in the DS version, but that's the only version that you had to talk to Fat Chocobo. But after talking to Rosa and going into this cave, Sage Tella will join your party. Hooray! Another spellcaster and a much better spellcaster. Uh, for some reason, he's put into the front row. Uh, we're going to change that. So now he'll take less damage, however, his physical attacks will do less damage, and we'll usually miss with that. And that's why we bought a leather cap, you'll probably also want to buy a iron ring, or whatever it's called. And he has Kira, which is helpful, and Asuna as well, as well as the three basic elements in Osmos. He has low MP, and his MP is going to stay at 90 for the entire game, pretty much. So you, you want to use that Osmos to get his MP back up. But other than that, yeah, pretty much, it's pretty good. Now zombies. Zombies, they will take one damage from Cecil's physical attack. You want to hit him with fire or cure. Fire is better. However, if you use Cecil's dark command, you can do, like, around 10 damage to it. Still not really worth it, because it takes, like, 50 HP away from 40 HP away from Cecil, so he could die pretty quickly. Now then, heading over here, we can head into the water, and up this waterfall to grab the iron ring. So, actually, scratch that, don't buy a second iron ring. You get one here, so, yeah, we're fine. Don't go back and buy a second iron ring, there is one in the treasure chest right there, and Gigantoad. These are one of the two enemies that can turn you into a toad. And basically, the toad status, your physical attacks do very little, and you can't use any spells except for Toad. It, to uh, remove your Toad status, basically. And, it's kinda like Mini, except for Mini, you can actually use all your spells. But, still. Either way, in this secret little area over here in the waterfall, because there's always a secret in the waterfall, you could find a couple useful items, like the X Potion, which we will not be using for a very long time. I think there was also an Ether or a Dry Ether, and a Phoenix Down, all of which we won't be using for a while. Phoenix Down really shouldn't be used at all, but sometimes things happen. So, Ether, whatever, that's helpful later on when stuff starts happening. This music skipping is actually kind of annoying. I missed that potion there, so we're going to open that up and grab it and head down over here. It, it's... I mean, it's great how we're not being cut off by battles and stuff, but the constant music going back to the very beginning of where it once was at the very beginning of the song... what am I even talking about? is kind of annoying. And now we get to the save area and we have a little cutscene and Tella will automatically use one of his tents, so it's basically another free heal so if you want to, you can grind up a bit and use up all of your two spellcasters MP and to grind up and then go into this room. But I didn't find it necessary. And we're getting a little bit of character development on Tella. Which is weird for a Final Fantasy game. Well, later Final Fantasy games, I guess. 13. But, whatever. So, and then he tells us of a monster that will stop us from progressing, and that's basically our boss. 
because there must always be a boss. Uh, bosses are cool. <laughs> I like how I just kind of contradicted myself. So, continuing on, uh, we can grab the ice rod, which is a very good uh, piece of equipment. We're going to give that to Tella because he has a staff when he uses an item and it will cast Blizzard, and I think it also boosts the power of his ice spells. Although that might just be Final Fantasy V, I really don't know. However, we can now head down to the right and down here to grab 580 gil and a bomb fragment. Bomb fragments and items that cast spells I really don't use at all, so more than likely I'm just going to always sell them. Now then, there's a treasure over there, but we'll skip that for a second. And killer fish. Normally you find these guys in water. But they're another basic enemy. Don't really do anything, although they are weak to thunder, and that might be why I don't know what they do. But either way, you can destroy them with thunder, and continue on there. Now head across the secret passage, and you can find the feathered cap. I know I bought a leather cap for Tella, but that's because it doesn't cost much, and it is a little while before you can get the leather or the feather cap. And we're going to give that to Tella just because he's the better spellcaster. And we need him to survive to be able to cure the others and whatnot. And we can exit through there, grab the potion, and we're done with this floor. Wow, that's pretty cool actually, with the bridges and stuff. You grab an ether and... Antarctic wind. Also, I might pronounce things differently than most of you, or both ways possibly, because I'm pretty sure that I said ether earlier, and now I'm saying ether. So, don't get all angry and stuff, it's a very minimalist thing, but some people are going to criticize my translations. Also, we got the Shadow Blade back there, so make sure to equip that on Cecil. And here's a little spot where we can take a break, use a tent, save, whatever we need to do. Uh, we're going to sort the inventory because it's kind of messy right now. So, we're going to get fully healed and move on into the second part of this dungeon, although that was more like two-thirds of this dungeon. This area isn't nearly as long. So yeah, waterfall. So, uh, jumping, completely throwing physics out the window and just jumping down the waterfall expecting to not get hurt. And guess what? We aren't hurt in the slightest. Is there anything down here? No. So just get into a random battle with these guys. These guys, like the zombies, are unaffected by physical attacks. However, they are only weak to fire, and that's the only spell that will do a lot of damage to them. So, you want to make sure to use fire against these guys, and that should kill them in one hit. Even if there is four of them. I mean, look at that. It did almost 100 to each. So, there we go. There are some enemies that I missed in this area, and I realize that. Uh, we'll come back to here soon enough. Either way, Hades Helm and Glove, all upgrades to Cecil's armor. So we're going to give him those, and move on up. We still need to get the one other. We need the Hades armor. There it is. So they basically just give you a whole bunch of new equipment for Cecil in this single dungeon. So, hooray, and we also got Hermes Shoes, which cast haste in battle. That would probably be helpful for this battle, but I really don't find it necessary. And I don't think about stuff like that, so whatever. By the way, Octomammoth. It basically has eight forms, sort of, and we don't want to use Dark. However, each form has around 300 HP, and once you get rid of that, it will lose one of its hands. And it's... I think his physical attacker will get a little stronger, not much. In the DS version, his physical attack definitely got stronger, and he started doing like 50 damage to a person, so you really had to keep up with the healing and stuff. Uh, this, this version, not so much, because as you can see, he's only doing 2 to Cecil, and since Radia and Tella are both in the back row, he probably won't do all too much either. But the basic strategy here is have Rydia cast Chocobo, it's her first summon that she automatically has, 
and that'll do around 100 damage. Have Tela cast uh, Thunder, which will do around 80, or 60 to 80, and have Cecil attack. If you really need to heal, then have Tela do the healing, because Radia needs that MP to do even more damage, because she does the most damage with spells. Uh, Cecil just can't heal, so don't even consider him for healing, because he just can't do that! Radia could use the blue Thunder spell, but it's not as powerful as Chocobo. Oh my... The Chocobo animation in the PSP remake of this game is so funny. I love the music in it, just how they have like the xylophone play as the chocobo runs away, or whatever that instrument is, it's just, look it up, It's if you haven't played that version of the game, it's hilarious. And it like gets up on the monster at a 45 degree angle and just starts moving its feet, and then runs away with the xylophone thing playing, it's awesome. And now, Octomammoth is down to only one arm left. It looks like he's pleading for forgiveness, and not for us not to kill him, but we don't give in to stuff like that, and he fades into purple. So, he's now defeated, and we can go into Damsian Castle. Well, yeah, basically. However, we missed a couple monsters, including these guys, the tiny mages. Uh, do not hit them with spells like I'm about to show. I did this on purpose. They're opposite of the other monsters like zombies and stuff, whereas uh, the, it'll only do one damage. However, then they will counterattack with Osmos, where they will basically take some of your MP. And I got lucky in which it only took uh, it only took some of Radia's MP. And Cecil has none, so that didn't benefit them whatsoever, but now they have MP to cast Thunder and stuff, so... Hit them with that, and they're done. We still missed some monsters, and we will get to those eventually. Sahagans, here's another monster that we have to fight. There's some tiny mages in the back, so we don't want to target all Thunder just yet. Because Sahagans are weak to Thunder. But there will still be like two more monsters that I don't find. Oh look, one of them already died, so just two darks and we should be fine. I I like the DS version of Dark more. How it like powers you up and you do elemental dark damage. That's pretty cool. I like that version better. Although this is also pretty useful. So yeah, we got those guys, but we still miss some. We'll get those when we can. And there's Damsian, although... What's going on? What? They're bombing the place! Great! That's... Great, now Rosa's going to die. 